Welcome to Face to Face. I'm Bill Plant, and with me, Senator John Glenn, who has just received the Presidential Medal of Freedom. You've been in space a couple of times. How'd that compare to this? Oh, very different, but uh, both very gratifying. You know, and uh, this this was nice today. And I, uh, one thing is nice is just to be considered in the same league as some of the people at the other awardees up there. For instance, I was sitting beside the man who eradicated smallpox. That's pretty big stuff. And so I, uh, so it, it's good to be there. And I hope that uh, out of some of the awardees up there today, I hope word gets into the schools and and maybe can encourage some of our young people to do their own studies and do their own have their own projects in the future it can be just as meaningful as anybody that was up there today. You've been away from the Senate for a few years now. What do you think of the political climate today? Well, it's too bad because it becomes so polarized and nobody willing to compromise and and it's become so uh, so much that way that I think uh, a lot of things that should be getting done are not being done. And uh, that's too bad. I think we used to have, when I was still there, uh, I think there was a lot more socializing. I think there was a lot more friendly activity back and forth across the center aisle, if you want to put it that way. Uh, but this is getting a little bit ridiculous now, whether it's a result of, who knows what it's a result of, whether it's Tea Party emphasis or some of the other things going on out there. But uh, yeah, we've had tough times in this country before where people didn't cooperate. One result in a whole civil war. And we recovered, and we'll recover from this. Well, the shape of the campaign is pretty clear. You've got yeah. Mitt Romney for the Republicans and the president running, yeah. and already the ads are pretty tough. Well, they are, and I think uh, I would hope that people would be more positive. I don't like negative campaigning, never did like that, and uh, didn't get that involved with negative campaigning in any of the campaigns that I ever ran. But uh, I think the, uh, uh, I think people want to hear something positive. Uh, they don't want to just see backbiting each other. They'd like to know about where, where the candidates stand on where they'd like to take the country. What's the future? That's where we're going to live. And after campaign's over, if, if people were biting at each other all during the campaign, and I think it's quite fair to put out uh, something on the record a person has that's actual fact. But so much of it now is uh, innuendo and, and uh, things like that and character assassination that uh, I just deplore. So uh, I think we'll come out of this. I think we will because I think eventually the people will demand that we do that. About space. Mm -hmm. You've just seen the first commercial space yeah. venture. What do you think about that? Well, it's a good first step, and it's exactly that, a first step. Uh, Are you disappointed that the government isn't doing it? I would have preferred that, but uh, uh, President Bush, George W. Bush, uh, decided in 2004 in a speech over at NASA to redirect NASA in a new direction uh, to set a base on the moon and go on to Mars but with no additional budget to do it. You had to cut it, had to do it out of the current budget, which meant that, and he also directed the end of the space shuttle, which I disagreed with strongly. And so now we have to go over and pay the, the Russians to take our people on the Soyuz up to our space station. And I think it deserves better, better than that, not only because we put a lot of money into it, but because it has the greatest potential for research and uh, things that can benefit our people right here on Earth. Now you think the SpaceX so, program that just uh, was no, successful? SpaceX, well, this is a good step help? forward, and I, I certainly hope it works, and I hope that the other, that and the other companies that are uh, working on a similar, similar programs now, uh, I hope that they are successful, because otherwise, uh, if anything happens to the Soyuz right now, we don't have a manned program until we develop our own capability. So uh, I disagreed with those decisions that uh, the that President Bush made back in 04, and it left us in a situation now where we're very, very vulnerable in case something happened to the Soyuz. But uh, we, this going the private route, that has been decided, and I just, uh, if, it's, if we're going that route, I hope it's successful, and we've had one successful flight. We need a number more of the cargo flights, the, the unmanned flights, and then qualify that vehicle for human use, and that'll be a big step forward for that, or one of the other companies that is working on the same project. Well, Senator, thanks very much, and congratulations on the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Thank you. It's been a big day. Good to see Thank you. Thank you much.